You might be contagious. Go sleep with your father. Why don't you get in your bed? It's clean. I can't. Something's been keeping me up. Did you throw up? No. What is it? Come look. I'm only getting up one more time this evening, and that's so I can... the voicemail of David. His mind is not here. Please, leave. What is going on with George? I don't know. I'm trying to finish this. Well, please sit down. What's this thing that's bothering him? Our lack of income? Well, get a real job. Oh, when would I get to spend time with you? Where are we going? To sleep. It's a monster. What? George. He thinks there's a monster. Where? In his bed. Why didn't you tell me about the monster? What monster? The one in your bed. There's nothing there. Stop it. Your father told me all about it. Now where is it? I want to see it. Why do you think there's something in your bed? I don't! What does it look like? I don't know. I can't see its face. The monster's face? Maybe, maybe it doesn't have a face. How do you even know it's a monster in there? Because it's woman across the street told me it was. There. Can I help you with something? How are you? Good. Yeah? Yes. Uh, and you? I'm George's mother. Oh. Nice to meet you. He's a great boy. He is. I was wondering, why would you... like to join us for dinner. Dinner? We all have to eat sometime. <sighs> when? Tonight. David, my husband, and I are having a dinner party. I'd love to. Uh, my name is Donna, by the way. My friends call me Dee. Nice to meet you, Donna. We'll see you bright and early tonight. Yeah. Great. Why don't you go visit 
Visit George. I'm not getting sick. He's not contagious. But he's still sick. If we're going to treat him like a zoo animal, shouldn't we at least give him visiting hours? Have you ever seen a monster? Aren't those things monsters? Vampires and werewolves? No, those are just things that people made up. Don't we make everything up? <gasps> I will take you somewhere real when you're better. But I want to go somewhere now. It's like I just don't belong here. Then where would you belong? A different planet. Somewhere else. Maybe across the street. Then who would be here with us? He would. We don't want him. We want you. Thank you. 